In today's video, we're going to be uncovering a masterclass in beautiful Shopify store design and also a masterclass in picking an evergreen niche to start a business around. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We usually talk about a lot of different businesses on here, mainly on Shopify. And today is no exception. So let's not waste any time and let's break down this business. It's called Nestig and what the store sells is baby cribs. So they're a baby brand and a baby store, as you can see, is a brilliant idea. Idea because it's one of those niches that is just never gonna go down right people are being born every day and mothers specifically fathers as well but mothers specifically really love buying things for their babies so really any idea within the baby niche has a decent likelihood of success especially if it solves a genuine problem or if it's really unique or if it's just really well branded which is what this store has done now again I would suggest if you're starting a dropshipping store or just a normal e-commerce store to take some of the design principles here in mind because I truly believe this is one of the best baby stores that I've seen recently. So as you see, they got some serif fonts. So that's something to keep in mind. Serif fonts are fonts that have these little serifs in the end of them, right? So they look a little less modern. They look more traditional, but that adds a human touch to your store. And when it comes to babies, obviously there's a lot of love involved. So adding serif fonts is a good idea because it just makes it feel a little more human, a little more like there's a little more care going on. I also really love the colors that they're using here. This baby blue with this sort of nude color, it just blends super well. So this to me is the perfect blend of modern and traditional. So these are great colors colors to utilize in your store. And I honestly think this is one of the biggest downfalls for a lot of beginners is they don't know what colors to use in their shops. So this is why I love doing these videos, right? Because we get so many design ideas and so many niche ideas, so many business ideas and little things like this can make a huge difference, right? So having the right colors could add a lot of trust to your brand and make it look more legitimate. So just like this brand has done, I would just make sure that the colors I'm using are kind of muted and similar to this. Now, as you can see, this store is only going up. So similar to the baby search trend, this store is also continuing to get more and more traffic flowing through it, which makes a lot of sense, especially going into the holiday season. So I'm excited to see how this brand will perform during the holiday season. I'm sure it's going to pop off probably to like a million dollars a month. So let's take a look at one of their best sellers here to actually see what their landing pages look like. As you can see, it's pretty simple. They got the rounded buttons. Honestly, it kind of looks like the sense theme on Shopify, which is 100% free. Shopify really snapped on this theme right here. It's my favorite theme right now. And it's cool because you can use it for free and you can check that out in the description. But as you see, it's kind of cool because this is a all in one crib. It has three different settings, which is really nice, right? Because babies grow up faster than you would think. So this way you don't have to buy a new crib right away after your baby gets older. And then they just have a little bit of education here on the product. It's just some benefits. So everything you need as your baby grows. This is a really good headline right there. And then they got some cross sells, some recommended products, a little bit more about the safety of the product. So these are things you got to keep in mind, right? If you're in the baby niche, this is what people are looking for, right? They're looking for things that they can use for the baby for a while because they don't want to have to keep buying so many things for the baby necessarily, or at the very least they want to save money since babies are expensive and then they want the stuff that they buy for their baby to be safe so you have to mention that in your description and then of course what we see in a lot of different Shopify stores nowadays they have the frequently asked questions panel that's a really good way to handle a lot of the objections that your customers may have and really that's what you're doing with your landing page right as people scroll down which not a lot of people do you want to be handling people's objections one by one right so that's what an FAQ is great to do you can do that on the sense theme as well pretty easily. And then you got some really clean reviews and that's it. Now, what's really exciting to me about this brand is that they're actually massive on Pinterest. So I've been really wanting to share a Pinterest brand with you guys because I truly believe that Pinterest is one of those undervalued platforms that people just seem to neglect for some reason, even though there's so much traffic and consumers on here. So as you see, they're getting 4 million monthly viewers on their products, which is unbelievable, right? That's a crazy amount of monthly traffic to their store. And I'm guessing that's almost entirely organic on TikTok. They're starting to do a lot more on TikTok as well. So let's watch one of these so that you can see what a good TikTok looks like in this niche. Why would you get a crib that only lasts four months? The same crib five years later. Wow. So if five second long TikTok right here. This is what I'm always telling you guys about that TikToks don't need to be long. They don't need to be complicated. They just need to be intentional and they need to capture your attention. This does just that, right? Because a mom is probably like, wait, that's me, right? Why would I buy a crib that only lasts four months? 
and then boom, the same crib five years later. Such a good simple ad. This one right here has 70K views. I'm guessing they're running it as a Spark ad, which is a really smart thing to do when it comes to TikTok ads. That's what we do at Akemi for a lot of our clients. Here's another one that's a little bit longer. So mini crib. And then, okay, so this one's a little slow. <laughs> to full crib. I would make this one faster if I were them. So if anybody from Nestic is watching this, hit me up. I'd love to advise with you guys. But yeah, this is a great ad. It's just a little bit slow, to be honest with you. But these are some great ideas for ads to use in this niche, right? So man, it's so incredible how many brands that are out there to learn from. I think this is some of the best education that you can get, right? It's to learn from the brands that are crushing it out there. That's going to give you a much higher likelihood of success for whatever niche you pick. So don't be afraid to go back to some of my other videos on the channel, right? Even some of the older ones where I've done case studies on different brands because you never know what ideas could come up into your head that could be life-changing. But that's about it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.